Well, Alicia, if used correctly, it's easy for drivers to avoid ever having to get a parking ticket. However, if used incorrectly, cameras on the meters make it impossible to avoid a ticket. I used to work at parking services in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And I can barely figure this out. If you're used to the old coin meters, this could look complicated, but the point is to make parking easier. It makes it easier to figure out when a meter is available for you to use. It does have a uh, system that allows you to park for a couple of minutes for free. That's right, a five minute grace period to be exact, and you can look up where to park on the Sentry Mobile app. Now, once you do park, you can pay through the app or you can pay with cash or card. Once you pay up, a light on the meter will turn green. If it's red, that means you have not paid or you exceeded the time that you already paid. Instead of getting a ticket on your windshield, drivers have the option of paying off the exceeded limit. It's very easy to avoid a ticket. Royal Oak Police Chief Corey O'Donohue hopes that these new Sentry meters will change how people feel about parking in downtown Royal Oak. Royal Oak hasn't always had the best reputation for parking, and this is our attempt to kind of help fix that. So what happens when you don't pay the meter after it turns red? They're in violation 26 minutes. The meters have cameras inside and take a picture of your license plate. You'll get a ticket in the mail. I'd like to go back to just putting my own quarters in, figuring out how long I'm going to be gone and uh, come back in time. And if I miss it, keep track of my watch, you know, simple. These meters have been up and running in the streets of Hamtramck for about two months now. We got mixed reviews from drivers here. I think it's a waste of money. The money could have been used for something more more valuable than this. I'm told all of the meters will be up and running in Royal Oak by the end of this month, and now Hamtramck is even considering adding these meters to some parking lots. Both cities have been passing out informational pamphlets to help people in the downtown who are still trying to figure out these meters in the hopes of better educating the public moving forward. Alicia.